Alright, I'm making this video to show you a few simple tricks you may have missed, with which anyone can pretty much one-shot three of the bosses in The Witcher 3. There are essentially no requirements, you can do these things on any difficulty and with any gear. Before we begin, make sure to check my Details Missed playlist if you haven't, it has over a hundred videos at this point. Ok, without further delay, number one is the Bruxa of Corvo Bianco. We don't have to fight. She briefly shows up at the cockatrice and then we fight her in the cellar. In the cellar, gotta be. You know how if you use art on her, you can knock her down and the prompt will show up to finish her off. If you try, however, she will quickly jump back on her feet and you will fail. This is perhaps a nod to the game's launch trailer, where more or less the same thing happens. However, there is a way to actually stab and one-shot her immediately. All you need to do is slow her down with the Irden sign prior to this. This trick, by the way, works on every Bruxa in the game, so you can do it later as well. Just place the Irden sign in your feet, keep your guard up until she is revealed, uh, yes, the sign actually breaks her invisibility as well, and then just use the art sign and you're done. In fact, you don't even need to knock her down inside the Irden. The only requirement is that she is inside when the Ard hits her. Afterwards, even if she's out, the slow effect lasts for a few seconds more, which is just enough for you to kill her. What I'm showing you here is on Death March difficulty, and I have absolutely no gear or skill points. Killed all these men to get to the body. It's actually a little difficult in this case because my stamina regenerates so slowly that I barely manage to get enough for an Ard before the year then expires. But it's still doable. Alright, that's all for the Bruxa, let's move on to number 2. And we actually move back a bit because the second one is about Goliath. You know, the giant who was rumored to be a knight once? I'm sure some of you guys know that there is an achievement to one-shot him with a bolt in the eye. However, this achievement might normally be a little tricky to get. You can make things easier by using the skill that slows down time when you aim with your crossbow, or by freezing him with a bomb first, but there's an even easier way that works every time. It turns out that as he performs one of his attacks, he lines up his eye perfectly for the auto shot of your crossbow. You know, that attack where you just press the button without aiming? All you have to do is dodge his attack and immediately shoot. Keep in mind, however, that this only works after the overhead slam he does. Uh, you know, this one. It will not actually work if you try dodging and shooting after the other attacks. Once again, this is doable on any difficulty. You don't need any specific skills or potions uh, or, or any specific crossbow bolts. Just the simplest crossbow and you're done. Big beast. Also, speaking of one-shotting Goliath, or, or Goliath, um, here's another curious fact. You know that giant in the fairy tale land? You can actually one-shot him as well, even though he doesn't have such a big gap there. Um, perhaps he's simply coded in the same way. As far as I know, however, there are no achievements for him, and I also haven't discovered any easy ways to do it, so you'll just have to aim. And finally, we move on to the last exploit, or, uh, you know, clever use of game mechanics, which happens to be Eridan, the final boss of the main game. Now here, we do have a bit of a requirement. We need to have the Rend skill unlocked. To do so, you have to dedicate at least 21 skill points in the combat tree. It's not really a tree, is it? It's more of a table, I guess? Anyway, um, Rend, for those of you who are not sure, is this overhead strike when you hold down the strong attack button. It can be charged up the more you hold it and it drains your stamina, but in this case we will be using it without any charge. What we need is to hold the button briefly and release repetitively. Now, Eridin seems to be coded in such a way that before anything else he will always try to parry a strong attack. 
and when not charged, the rent consumes so little stamina that even without gear or any stamina regenerating talents, you can still spam it constantly. Now combine that with the fact that Rend will always do some damage to the target, regardless of whether they're trying to block it or not, and then you have a recipe for success. Just spam it and kill him while he's constantly trying to parry it. Now there is a second layer to this trick. If you manage to spam Rend fast enough without any interruptions and reduce his health to the point where he should normally enter third phase, you can actually skip the entire second phase. Now, if you delay for some reason, you will be forced into second phase, but that's not really an issue, since all you need to do is keep spamming Rend. That actually happened to me while recording my first attempt, simply because it takes quite a long time to do it without any gear, but if you have your regular items equipped, you will likely do so much damage so quickly that you will easily force him right into third phase, and from there you just have to hit him once and he's dead. Now you might be thinking, can't I just use this strategy against everything else? Well, sadly the answer is no. Most enemies will not get stuck trying to parry your rend when you spam it in their face. However, it's worth trying sometimes. And with that, I think I'm done. Let me know if you've done any of these mild exploits yourselves and whether there are any other notable ones, which uh, perhaps I should have mentioned in this video. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, special thanks to my supporters and YouTube members, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.